welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Vikram. So, in last session, we discussed how AngularJS applications are executing. Today, we are going to discuss how we can create a module in our applications. A simple program using ng app directive, we are informing AngularJS that we are using angular related some features in our application okay and we already seen that if angular js i mean if we are not using ngif and app directive in our application what is going to happen okay so you can see here we used ngif and app directive in our application and we are informing angular js that we are using some features of AngularJS in our applications. Here, the features we are using is ng-bind model, ng-bind directors. Okay, let's elaborate. So, whenever I'm typing some content, we can able to see the same content in the label. Okay, this is the program we discussed uh, in the last session. So, if we have some custom implementations, how we can implement in our AngularJS application. That is the concept we are going to discuss. So, moduling AngularJS application. Okay. So, here we will take a sample example uh, like uh, we will give two input elements to the end user where he can enter first name and last name. On click of a button, we are going to show the full name of that particular end user. Okay. So, this is our application. Okay. According to this particular application, we have some custom implementations to be created. Here the custom implementation is concatenation of strings. Okay. So, the steps which we discussed in last session, first what we when we are trying to execute our application inside a browser, the static DOM is loading inside the browser. So, that's, that is our first step. So, let us create our user interface. create body and uh, give end user option for entering input elements. Ask end user to enter first name, sorry, input type text, we have enter last name, input type text be a okay for uh, concatenating that put two input elements data we require a event so we are going to create a button and give a label get full name okay put some hr line breaker and show full name using label okay so, our user interface is ready okay? or we can call it as static DOM. So, this is our static DOM, very good. Now, in the previous example, okay, according to our second step, okay, on load our document ready function will execute and at the same time we are going to load our Angular framework to core module, it is going to create Angular object. So, let us load Angular framework script, so RC is equals to lib angular fn 1.4.9 angular dot min dot js script done okay the second step is done now once the angular framework is loaded then uh, then the internal part of our angular js framework uh, is going to be I mean it is going to do the following things. First what it is doing is, it is trying to identify ngif and app or ngif and app is equals to some module name. Okay? So, let us illustrate a little bit. When we have to use ngif and app or when we have to use ngif and app is equals to some name. In our application, if we have any kind of custom implementations related to JavaScript, we require at least one module when it comes to AngularJS applications. Okay. So, let us check here according to our previous example, here we are not creating any kind of custom JavaScript code. 
we are just using angular js provided built in implementations here the data binding concept we use here and whatever the data we are typing in our input element the same data we are showing with respective to label okay now when it comes to our current example here we require some custom implementation the custom implementation is concatenation of first name and last name and the data we need to show with respective to this label okay so if we require to implement the concatenation operation we require at least one module in our angular js application so how the module can be created using ngi friend app directly we can create the module and you can give any module name okay my module app for assumption clear so here my module app is our custom module okay and uh, as part of this particular module this module is not at registered are available with angular framework so we need to inform angular that hey you know that i am using a module called my module app please provide that particular module or please bootstrap that particular module or we can call it as also load my module app that we can do using script load that particular module this module should be registered with angular framework we can register our module with angular framework using angular dot module method and whatever the module name we given here the module name i given as my module app okay and uh, we are as part of our application one module may depend on other modules is some dependency is there okay if assume that here my module app is depending on your module app okay so that particular information we need to provide as a string array your okay something like this okay now that's it we register our module with angular framework now if the module is already available with angular framework and if it is identifying that module against to ng app directive angular can able to load our my module app using bootstrapping mechanism okay so that is the next con that is the next step we have to do in our application so use ng hyphen app directive provide any module name my app now this module we need to register with angular framework okay you can do in reversal also first register the module then bind the module with ng app directive okay which one is convenient to you that we can do angular dot module the module name we given as my app and this module is not depending on any other module so you can provide it as a empty array okay now assign this particular module to our custom variable var app it's up to this particular part third step is done loading of angular js module okay once it is done you can see a dollar injector is there okay so it is starting angular dot bootstrap passing document comma that module my app module for assumption here and uh, once the bootstrapping is initiated then dollar injector as we discussed yesterday is a container which is going to handle dependency injection in our application dependency injection in the sense creation of objects and managing objects in our application we no need to worry about object management when it comes to angular js all the objects of our application will be created by angular js this injector container itself okay so what this injector is doing is it is creating compile and root scope objects what is the purpose of this compile and root scope as we already discussed yesterday when it comes to framework it need to understand what actually we implemented in our application okay in our last session we discussed that one so this compile okay he is trying to analyze what is the bindings we made in our application okay so here we require the bindings for all these four elements input 1 input 2 button and full name so four bindings we require and to handle all those bindings we require one of our custom javascript function okay so 
we can able to provide our custom JavaScript functionality when it comes to AngularJS using controller. Okay, where controller will accept two arguments. We will discuss the controller part very detailedly later and you can provide the function where the controller will have at least one parameter scope. Okay. This scope is the reference we use it to access the data bindings of our application in our controller. Okay. Now, this controller, this the scope of the controller we can able to create using our HTML application by using a directive called ng-controller. controller. We will discuss this one also later when it comes to controller part. As of now, we can you just remember we can bind the controller like this in our HTML application. Now, the controller is binded. Now, we can bind the model objects at the same time functions to our view or we can call user interface also. So, in last session I already told that we can use ng model directive to all elements through which we can able to collect data. Okay? So, I am binding here fnr first name. Okay? Second one is also input element. So, we can use ng model directive and bind another model object called last name. Okay? Done. Leave about the functions, we will do it later. Now, we need to show the result. Okay? When it comes to view elements through which you are going to show the data to the end user, there we can use ng bind directive okay? and bind a model object full name. Okay. So, here how many model objects we created? Three, first name, last name, full name. So, initialize those model objects where those bindings we can able to access inside the controller using scope object dollar scope dot first name initialize with empty data defaulted scope dot last name initialize with empty data the same way scope dot full name initialize with empty data done. Now, we require to implement a function where on button click the function should be executed and it should perform concatenation operation okay? concatenation of first name and last name. So, here we need to bind a function, but as part of our last session I told that Framework will have the entire control okay, of execution application. So, here our framework need to execute that particular function automatically. Okay. So, if I am using something like on click, okay, this is not recommended because on click I am just making a call to a function where framework will not able to understand that specific thing and uh, events is also not available when it comes to AngularJS application. So, rather than events what we need to do is we need to use directives against to those directives we need to bind the function. So, here in place of this particular on click okay, we need to replace this on with ng and click. So, this is the directive where through which we can able to handle a click event. Okay? So, whatever on click, on blur, on focus should be replaced with ng in the specific event name equals to we can bind a function. The function name we can give something like get full name blah blah that is it. Now, this fun function we need to implement in our controller. Okay? So, implement something like scope dot get full name is a function type. If it is data, we are assigning data. If it is a function, we need to assign function. And so, what we need to do is concatenate first name and last name. So, use something like scope dot first name plus scope dot last name. Okay? Then concatenation is done. And we need to show the concatenation of this particular data through a model object called full name. So, assign this data to full name. The scope dot full name equals to blah blah done. So, this is our application. Okay? Now, go back to the browser, reload the application, enter some data here, 
which are y. You are getting concatenation of first name and last name using on button click of our user interface. Okay. Here you can see that the main part of our application is binding of a module and registration of the module. If any one of this part is missing, for assumption here I am not using my app. This application will not be executed because it does not know what actually should happen when the button is going to be clicked. Okay. Here we need to provide something like a dynamic operation a custom implementation where the custom implementation can be provided through a custom module my app where the module should be registered something like this okay so in place of this particular module if i am doing something like this okay comment out okay if the module is not registered okay now anyway you don't have any kind of exceptions uh, okay some exception is here okay bottom it is saying that not a function my ctrl is not a function because we binded the controller here and it is saying that i didn't found this controller boss okay so reload the application anyway cannot read property controller of undefined because app is undefined here angular dot module it is not registered with angular framework so it is saying that app is not defined here okay so both things are mandatory okay so first we need to register the module Okay, then you can bind the module using ngfn app directive or you can bind the module but mandatorily you have to register that module with angular framework. So, whatever the module we registered with that module only we need to implement our custom implementations using a controller. Okay. So, in this way we can able to module angular js applications. Thank you.